What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about a new Netflix film called You People, a movie that I have been kind of excited about. This wasn't really high on my anticipation list, but any single time that Jonah Hill pops up in a film or Eddie Murphy, I am going to be very excited, but I'm going to be very trepidatious about it because it is on Netflix and they don't really have the best track record when it comes to movies. The film follows a new couple and their family who find themselves examining modern love and family dynamics amidst cultural clashings. Now I really enjoyed most of this movie. I thought the direction of this movie was alright. Some jokes were hit and miss in this movie but I thought for the most part this was a decent little rom-com. It has vibes of guess who's coming to dinner and I really enjoyed what they were going for in this movie. However, some of the execution in this movie kind of left me a little bit lackluster and it felt like it was going on for a little bit too long and you could have shortened this down just a little bit but I really enjoyed a lot of this movie. A lot of the humor in this movie actually really did hit and I found myself chuckling a couple of times. I really liked the romantic dynamic between Laura London and Jonah Hill in this movie. I thought they worked fantastic. It's been a while since I've seen Laura London. I mostly know her from ATL but she is just strikingly beautiful and she holds her own when it comes to the relationship between her and Jonah Hill in this movie. I thought that was a wonderful dynamic because you have Jonah Hill who starts off with somebody that is having really bad luck with dates, isn't being able to find a healthy relationship and that is just everything that he wants to have. He wants to be able to have a meaningful relationship but he is having a tough time trying to find that perfect balance but when he meets Laura London's character I think that is when sparks fly. You have some of the dialogue in this movie that is kind of cringy and a little bit force on you just a little bit but once you get past that and the relationship starts to take off it came across as really cute I thought it was really funny Julia Louise Dreyfus in this movie was absolutely fantastic she is most of the white women that you see nowadays and she's not saying the best things when she is trying to say these things it kind of comes off as a little bit forced and it felt like a little bit too much. David Duchovny is her husband and I think he had some bright spots here and there. I thought he was really funny but when the banter begins between Jonah Hill and Eddie Murphy I thought that was a lot of fun. I thought that is where the film kind of found its footing just a little bit but it didn't really fully commit to it because there are just a lot of things that I get what they were trying to go for but it kind of came off just a little bit off and I will always be in debt with Jonah Hill because he did mid 90s I thought that movie was absolutely fantastic I wanted to see him direct more movies some of the jokes landed a lot of them really didn't and this is coming from the writer of Girls Trips. Another movie that I really enjoyed, I thought that movie was really funny. Kind of wish this movie kind of took that approach, but I get what they were trying to go for because they are, these are two different people that are coming from two walks of life. They have different cultures, one's a Jew, one's black, and so you had those kind of clashing moments. And I get what they were trying to go for. I really appreciated the attempt that they were going for. Sometimes it worked. Other times it just felt a little bit forced and a little bit cringy. But I really enjoyed this movie as a little rom-com. The performances in this film and the relationship between Laura London and Jonah Hill in this movie actually worked to my surprise. I didn't know how I was going to feel about it. But I absolutely enjoyed it. This movie is not perfect. It's not going to be one of the best films of the year. If you are having a bit of a stumble as to what to watch on Netflix or on streaming or anywhere. I think this is a movie that you're going to probably enjoy. There are some moments of humor where it does hit and other times where it just falls really flat. But overall, I would recommend that you check this film out because I think this is a funny, charming little movie that I absolutely kind of enjoyed to a degree. I thought some of the humor, like I said, kind of did hit and miss. But overall, as the whole project, as the whole film, the final result... I came out enjoying it. Yeah, I had a big smile on my face when it finished, but those are my thoughts on you people. Have you guys checked it out? Did you like it? Did you not? Go ahead and drop those thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on more videos. Click that bell notification so you get notified every single time that a video pops up. 
We'll catch you guys on the flip side.